What's going on my fellow troops? My name is Evo and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be checking out Season 4 Reloaded for Vanguard and Warzone. Now as you can see, this is uh, what the average wait looks like for me. Just sat here waiting for Warzone to update. But we're not going to sit here and watch that. Obviously we're going to hop into Vanguard first. Have a look at what's new in there. I heard there's a new weapon and I think that's weird. Apparently I've got to put the game in. One second, my bad. I've got Modern Warfare still plugged in. This is a bug I get with, like, new cards now. I get, like, this bug that says, like, you're in trial mode, the free trial, uh, which the free trial hasn't existed since, like, the beta time, I'm pretty sure, when the game first came out. So I don't know why it still gives me that error when I, when I don't put the disc in. It should actually just say the game isn't plugged in. But, hey, okay, let's go into Vanguard. So I heard there's a new weapon. I heard there's a new map. I'm not too sure about everything else. Now, I heard about a bunch of other speculations about, like, new camos. I don't know what that means. Uh, I was watching Jev the other day, and there was something about titanium camos coming to Warzone. That sounds pretty damn cool. I do want to keep this nice and short, though, because I, I know I always say this, and then the video ends up being, like, normal length. But I know a lot of people will watch these videos and will just want to rip their eyes out because of how long they are when they don't need to be this long so let's just uh take a look at multiplayer so first things first we've got desolation 24 7 so this is just like a a playlist for this new map i actually haven't seen this new map okay so this is the new map desolation looks very jungly as you can see it actually looks similar to zombies the zombies map Maybe it's just me that it looks a bit like Shino Numa a little bit. I don't know where that's actually going to be based at. But yeah, that's the new map we've got. So we've got Desolation. We have got a new assault rifle, I believe. Just when I thought I was getting near to finishing this damn game. Here, they've added the Vargo S. So trading firepower is improved. Accuracy and fire rate. This rifle excels in medium and long range engagements. And you have to unlock it by doing 15 close range kills. That is honestly the most easiest challenge I've seen. That is pathetic. And it's still showing the STG. That's a little weird. That's what it looks like down there anyway. That's the Vargo S. Wait, what? It's unlocked it for me. I swear it said it was locked a while ago. Then it was locked with challenges on it. Then it was locked again with, with no challenge progress bar allowed to be shown on it. Like, the challenges are so broken in this game. Can I just say that? Like, none of them work properly. Not surprised the operator hasn't even appeared in here when there's supposed to be a new operator. Maybe that new operator is just going to come in, like, in the last 10 days of the battle pass. That's, that tends to happen. We've Oh, we've got a blueprint. We've got a legendary blueprint for this. So if anyone's interested, you can put this on the Vargo We've seen this happen many, many times with camos. They either look worse in Warzone or they look better. But these guys are going to be coming into Warzone as well. Apparently, most of the quality fixes inside of Zombies multiplayer are just like bug fixes and whatnot. So it's nothing really out of the ordinary. And that is not confusing at all, is it? Wow. Uh, so I updated the game yesterday, Vanguard, which was like the preload for the update. And then when the update drops, it automatically drops. And now despite literally just showing you that the, the stuff is already in vanguard it's saying that it's updating again i'm really confused is this going to have the operator added in or why is this supposed to be like some sort of cross between the war zone coming into vanguard i don't know because there is supposed to be a new terminator pack so i'm just wondering if the terminator crossover has to come into vanguard now and they're trying to put the the operators and stuff into multiplayer that is super weird i might have to check uh, vanguard again now, guys, this is where it's about to get a bit crazy because Warzone seems to be receiving most of the updates. In fact, I've literally just taken a quick glance before at the home screen for Warzone when you first come on with a little start button. And it looks really, really cool. Look at this. This is awesome. So we've got, as you can see, a zombie's hand on it. Now, most of this looks very Halloween themed considering we're in August. It's a little bit weird. Actually, no, we're not in August yet. We're still in July. My bad. I'm losing the plot at this point. But yeah, we've got some like colored stims and stuff. And we've got a zombie hand there. This is reminding me a lot of the Haunting of the Dansk. Now, I don't know if they've done that and they've put it on Rebirth. Basically, that's what they've done on the New Fortunes Keep. Okay, so here we go. Rebirth of the Dead. Rebirth of the Dead is live now with double player XP. Drop into zombie infested Rebirth Island with your squad and fight to survive. Beware when you die, you become a zombie. So yeah, it's basically just like the uh, Haunting of the Dansk event. Collect antivirals to redeploy as a human. Last team with a human wins. 
Play a 2xp live until August the 4th at 10 a.m. PT. So that is really cool. I'm actually probably going to play this because I love the whole zombie theme for Warzone. It's just awesome. It's so cool. So here you can see it's right here. We might play a little bit on video actually because it looks really, really cool. But as for Warzone, let's take a look and see if the Dark Aether looks worse or better in this part of the game. I I'm going to imagine it's going to look just the same. Because with Atomic, it looked kind of better, but more or less the same thing. Okay, actually, no. I might be wrong. It kind of looks better. Is it just me? Like, I feel like it still looks the same, more or less. But it's a little bit more vibrant, and the pixelation isn't as noticeable. Actually, to be fair, it is kind of still there. I guess it's because it looks like it glows a bit more. It's a bit more saturated. This definitely looks better in Warzone. Uh, the Plague Diamond, because Plague Diamond in Zombies is awful. It's absolutely terrible, and this looks somewhat better. Like, it actually looks like... it's. It kind of looks a little bit more crystally than Bumps, at least, and the pink doesn't look as disgusting. Oh! Just when you thought that Golden Viper looked nice in Zombies, look at it here. Oh my god. Yo, this shit is like really, really vibrant rose pink. This is awesome. I like this. That is so nice. This actually looks like better than most camos I've seen in Call of Duty. And I'm not capping. That is actually really fucking nice. So, yeah, they've got the zombies camos in Warzone. That's cool. Now let's actually check out what else is new to here. See, here's the thing, right? This 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 operator is new to Vanguard. He isn't showing up in the main game, but he manages to show up in Warzone. It's funny that, isn't it? That they can get it to work with their sister game, but the, the main game, like the mother game, where this is supposed to have come from, this skin, it isn't showing up. Like, what the fuck is going on? You see these two? These ones... They show up inside of their game, and this one doesn't. What's going on? Come on, Vanguard. You need to pick up the pace a little bit, fix your fucking game, and put the skins in where they're supposed to be. I don't know if they've done anything else. I think other stuff are probably just fixes and probably updating the perks. Okay, so I just pulled up um, the Raven Software community uh, update page, and it actually explains the mid-season launch and how it's going to work. So for July 27th today and onwards, we get obviously the new event and whatnot. Then on the 4th of August, we actually get uh, a bunch of other updates, random stuff, nothing too crazy. Then on the week of the of August the 11th, that's when Titanium Trials Endurance comes in and uh, we get WSOW Battle Royale. So I don't know what that means. That sounds interesting. So apparently these things are actually coming further down the line into August. So it's not all happening all at once at the start of this update. So it's good to know that Raven actually posts about that on their page at least. Because when you look at Vanguard and you look at like, you know, in, uh, I think Sledgehammer and shit. They don't put that stuff on their website as far as I'm aware. They don't put any roadmap up. They don't explain anything anymore. Now, despite how much I really, really want to play this game mode today in this video... I think we'll save it for another video because now I'm taking more of the gameplay route with content. I think I might actually do like a separate video playing on this mode. Hell, if I get some people together to play with me on it, that would be really cool as well. Uh, just to have a laugh. I don't know, but we'll see. So I think I'll set for another video. And I think in future when I'm making sort of reviews of new updates, I won't play in the modes because it'll actually just take up more of the video. Instead, I'll review the updates, make it nice and simple just so you know what's new. And then I'll spend over the season actually playing those things or just checking them out and that way I can actually embrace the mode more than just covering it a little bit in a video and then just calling it a day. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash a like on this video. It really means a lot. It goes a long way and it lets me know you enjoyed the video. It lets YouTube know the video is enjoyed by the audience. And uh, if you've watched this far without skipping any parts of the video, be sure to comment undead because get it? Rebirth of the dead. So the undead's coming back to you get it. Anyway, other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.